Hello and welcome to the support video for Workload Automation video series. In this video, I will demonstrate how to find the user who ordered or forced the job into the Control-M Enterprise Manager GUI. Before you are able to generate a report on audit information such as which user performed what operation in Control-M, you will need to enable auditing on the Enterprise Manager server to start collecting this information. Therefore, the prerequisite for capturing audit information is to enable auditing via the Control-M Configuration Manager by selecting the Audit and Annotation checkbox under System Parameters. To find out a user who forced to order the job, you can then use the Control-M Reports functions to check this. Firstly, I will show that auditing is enabled in the Control-M Configuration Manager. Right-click on the EM component and select System Parameter. Select Audit and Annotation on the left side. You will see that I have checked both boxes Enable Audit and Enable Annotation. Next, I have logged in as User2 as you can see from the top panel. and I will order a test job. In the monitoring domain, select the order icon from the top panel, select the folder and select the job that you would like to order. Test VP job in this example. Click on order. As you can see, the test DB job has been ordered. Next, launch Control-M reports as the admin EM user. Select Report on the left-hand top corner and choose Add New Report. A report template screen will appear on the right-hand side. Under the Active Template, select Audit Report and select Add at the bottom. Under the Filters tab is where you select the time range, audit type and audit operation to report on. Select Active Network for audit type. Select Order for Audit Operation. Under the Columns tab, select the columns that you would like to display in your report. Under the View tab, you can perform a Sort or Group By. These are optional. Select Preview button on the bottom of the screen to expand the pane. Then click Refresh to populate the report you can see that the user details are shown. This report will not include jobs that were forced when the ignore scheduling criteria flag is checked. For those types of orders, select force for audit operation to see the report on forced jobs. I will show an example of this next. Log in as the user2 account again and this time order a job with the ignore scheduling criteria checkbox checked. The job is forced. Next, go back to the Control M reports. Generate the report and this time select Force under Audit Operation. Select the columns that you would like to display. Preview and Refresh. As you can see, it will show the job that has been forced by this user too. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.